What if I told you there was one computer that could run both Mac OS and Windows at the same time, and it could completely change how productive you are. And that computer is the Mac. Wait, what? Let me explain. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sohail and I make videos about tech, software and tools to make your life easier. If that sounds like something you're into, hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. So why would you need both Mac OS and Windows? Well, it kind of depends on what you do. See, I've always been a fan of Apple products. Back when I was studying engineering, I still wanted the Apple experience, the sleek hardware, good battery life, and the seamless integration with my iPhone and iPad. But I also knew that a lot of the tools that I'd need, like SolidWorks, MATLAB, and a few circuit design softwares only ran on Windows. And honestly, that wasn't a surprise. Personally, I love the Mac ecosystem. It's clean, it's fast, and it syncs really well with all of my other devices. But sometimes you just need Windows. There are apps, especially in industries like engineering and architecture, and even some corporate settings that run only on Windows. If you're a gamer, there are certain games that run only on Windows. But it's not always just about software compatibility. If you're a developer or a designer, it may be important for you to test your apps on both platforms. Or if you're working with a team that uses different platforms, say someone has an Excel file with an old Windows only plugin, switching back and forth between operating systems may be necessary. Luckily, there is a solution. It's an app called Parallels Desktop. It's a virtualization tool that allows you to run Windows on your Mac. Now, this video is not sponsored by Parallels. I genuinely think it's a useful tool and thought that it might be useful for you as well. So here are the top three Parallels features that can improve your productivity and workflow. Number one is coherence mode. This is hands down one of my favorite features in Parallels and it's the one that makes the experience truly unique. Coherence mode basically hides the Windows desktop entirely. Instead of having to look at a full Windows environment inside a window or across separate desktop spaces, your Windows apps just show up right alongside your Mac apps like they belong there. There's no taskbar, no start menu floating around. It's just the apps that you need exactly where you need them. So for example, I might be browsing in Safari and then have Microsoft Word running in Windows. I'll have both apps side by side on the same screen. You can even command tab between Mac and Windows apps like they're part of the same system. What I love about it is that it removes the mental context switching. You're not bouncing around the two operating systems. Well, technically you are, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like everything's just on your one computer. Whether it's a Mac OS app or a Windows app, it kind of becomes irrelevant. You've got one device with both ecosystems. Now, number two is dragging and dropping between operating systems. This feature might not sound very flashy at first, but once you start using it, you'll understand what I mean. Parallels makes sharing files between Mac OS and Windows completely seamless. You can literally drag a file from your Mac desktop and drop it into a Windows application and it just works. There are no weird file compatibility issues and no extra steps. For example, let's say you download an image in Safari. You can just drag that image straight into a Windows program. There's no need to upload it to a shared folder or email it to yourself, nothing like that. It just works. And the same goes for copying and pasting. You can copy text from a Mac OS app and paste it directly in a Windows app. And the best part is it's not just reliable, it's really fast. I've used it to move entire folders, large Excel documents, and screenshots back and forth pretty seamlessly. If your work involves juggling between two environments, this app makes the two systems one unified workspace. Number three is resource allocation. Now let's talk about performance because having that flexibility kind of means nothing if it's really slow and clunky. One of the best things about Parallels is how much control it gives you over how Windows runs. You can decide how many CPU cores it uses, how much RAM it gets, and how much of your Mac's storage is available to the Windows side. This is great because not every user has the same needs. If you're doing just basic stuff, say you're running a really old Windows-only application, 
you can keep the resource allocation to a minimum. This helps preserve your battery life and avoids draining unnecessary system power. But if you're doing more demanding tasks like 3D modeling in SOLIDWORKS, maybe you're doing a simulation, you can then allocate more resources to Windows to give it exactly what it needs. On my MacBook Pro with the M2 Pro chip, I can allocate multiple cores and extra RAM and it runs completely smooth. Windows doesn't even feel like it's being emulated at all. This level of control turns your Mac into a truly dual purpose machine. It's ready for the light tasks, but it's also there for those more demanding tasks when you need it. All right, before you rush off to download Parallels and fire up Windows, let's go over what you'll need to actually run it smoothly. First up, your Mac. Parallels Desktop runs on both Intel and Apple Silicon. So whether you've got an old Intel-based Mac or one of the newer Apple Silicon Macs, you're good to go either way. In fact, Parallels was one of the first apps to actually support Apple Silicon natively, which means that the performance on some of the newer machines is absolutely incredible. That said, here are the minimum requirements. You'll need macOS Monitry, I think that's how you pronounce it, or later. For the best experience, of course, update your Mac to the latest macOS version. You're going to need at least four gigabytes of RAM, but honestly, I'd recommend a minimum of 80 gigabytes. And if you're doing something more demanding, then allocate 16 gigabytes. You'll need around 600 megabytes for the Parallels desktop app itself, plus at least 20 gigabytes for the Windows installation and any programs that you want to run on it. And of course, you'll need a copy of Windows and Parallels makes it really easy to download Windows during setup. Now, if you're installing it on an Apple Silicon Mac, you'll be installing the ARM version of Windows, which is fully compatible with Parallels. And the good news is most mainstream Windows apps work just fine with ARM or they have emulators built in. Also, you really don't need a very high-end Mac to make this work. I've tested Parallels on a base model MacBook Air and it worked perfectly fine. Of course, the more RAM and CPU power you allocate to it, the better it will perform. And the last thing to note is that you don't need to be super tech savvy to do this. Parallels has really simplified the whole setup and configuration process. So how exactly do you get this set up? Fortunately, it's a lot easier than you might think. First, head over to the Parallels Desktop website and download Parallels Desktop for Mac. I've left the link in the description in case you wanna check that out. Parallels will then guide you through downloading and installing Windows 11 directly within the app. It's a really smooth process. You just have to follow the prompts. Once installation is done, you'll have Windows in its own window <laughs> or in full screen mode. Of course, you can also enter coherence mode if you prefer. And that's it. You now have the two operating systems running side by side on your Mac. I've been using Parallels for a number of years now, and honestly, the only downside is that you do have to pay for a license. But hey, for what it delivers, I think that it's worth it. It gives you so much flexibility, and for what I do, it's honestly saved me a lot of time. I hope you found that useful. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. 